Welcome to our course Doing Math in Python and in this part of our course we are going to learn how to solve for one variable in terms of others. So basically what we're going to do here is that we're going to identify the root of a quadratic equation. So here in this case there is not actually much problem if we can just factor a certain quadratic equation so that we would be able to get the values of x that satisfies the equation. If in case we cannot factor a certain equation, what we're going to do is that we're going to use this formula and that is x is equal to negative b or minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So this is basically the formula that you're going to use to be able to identify the values of x that satisfy the equation. This particular site, qmath.com, has a lot of discussions about that. So you can just um, go to this site. And anyway, this is not sponsored by this site. I am just finding the site um, very valuable to our discussion. So now the question is this, how do we do this in Python? Let's go to this one. So first and foremost, we first have to import these two, symbol and solve, because solve um, would be able to help us if we have lots of literal coefficients. In this case, um, we have more than one. Now here, okay, let's first um, execute this one. Okay, now it's executed. And now we are going to transform different letters to variables. So here we use symbol, so x, a, b, and c. So let's execute this one. Okay, now we have this expression um, a x squared plus b x plus c and then we're going to solve for this expression and that is uh, here we have to find the value of x and then we have the dictionary so let's execute this one and so we would know what this one is so here um, we have two values of x so first we have um, negative b minus square root as you could see in this case we have plus and minus and this is what we do in this case. We first have the minus, and on this side, we have the plus. So let's execute this one, what this one is. So this is basically this one. So ax squared plus bx plus c. So basically, if we're going to solve for the values of x of this algebraic expression, we're just going to plug in the different values of our constants. In this case, we have a, and we have b, and then we have c. Do you want to know more about this channel? Let's click these cards. We do have a lot of free data science courses for free like machine learning essentials, deep learning mathematics, and a lot more. Here, you can always learn an upskill for free.